Hey everyone, welcome to this video by Simply Learn. If you have been keeping up with how companies hire these days, you know things have changed a lot. They are no longer just looking for a good GPA or technical skills. They want candidates who stand out. And if you are preparing for placements or searching for internship, I have got five game-changing tips that will help you get noticed and land your dream job or internship in 2026. These tips will make sure that you are not just another resume in the pile. And let's jump in and make this easy for you. All right, let's kick the things off with the basics. Now, when it comes to the placement and internship, your resume and LinkedIn profile are your first impression. Think about it when you apply for a job. It's the first thing HRs and recruiters see. You need to shine. So what's the deal? Your resume needs to be up to date and complete. And a common question is, I get this, I have done projects and learned DSA, but I'm not getting shortlisted. Why? Well, I have seen a lot of resumes that are outdated or incomplete. Sometimes they don't even mention the skills or technologies they have worked with. So here's the deal. Keep your resume and LinkedIn profiles updated consistently. Every time you complete a project, learn a new tech skill or participate in a hackathon and update those profiles immediately. Now, why is this important? Because recruiters don't have time to shift through resumes and check if you are a good fit or not. If you are not up to date, they might skip your profile entirely. So make sure to apply fast and don't wait for 20 days to send in your resume. The sooner you apply, the better your chances are. Always ensure your resume matches the role you are applying for. If you are targeting DevOps, make sure DevOps skills stand out. If it's full stack development, highlight your projects in that area and make your resume focused and relevant. Then I would say master computer science fundamental. Now let's move on to tip two. Don't ignore computer science fundamental. Data structures and algorithms often steal the spotlight, but CS basics like OOPS, database management, and also operating systems and computer networking are crucial. And here's why. These subjects form the foundation of most of tech interviews. So whether you're applying to start a job at MNC or you want to test your knowledge in these areas, especially if the company works in the system heavy domains. For example, VMware will focus on operating systems. Companies like Cisco will test your networking skills. While Oracle loves DBMS concepts, Having a strong grip on these fundamentals will give you a massive edge, especially if the company has a niche focus. Plus, it will help you understand complex systems that run in long run. Now, I would say build a focus profile. Tip three is all about having a focus profile. Now, this is where a lot of students make a mistake. If your resume looks like tech buffet with everything from Java to Python and machine learning to blockchain, it can confuse recruiters. Instead, it could narrow down your focus and pick your niche up. Here's what I mean. If you're applying for backend development roles, focus on backend technologies like Java, Node.js, or Python. Don't list every language you have ever touched. Show your strength in specific areas and stand out. And please don't just list technologies. Show proof. If you have worked with React, include a project where you have used it. This way, recruiters can see exactly how you have applied your skills. This tip is actually very much important. Research the companies which you are applying for. Whether it's a startup, mid-sized company or an MNC, you need to know their core values and the kind of projects they are working on and what skills they are looking for. Think about it. If you know that a company like Google or Amazon values DSA's expertise, you'll prioritize it in your preparation. If you're applying to a fintech company, highlight the finance-related projects you have done. Tailor your resume and application to match the company needs. Follow seniors who have worked at those companies Check their LinkedIn profile, see what the skills they have highlighted and get an idea of what works. By aligning your profile with the company's needs, you are increasing your chances of getting noticed. All right, guys, we have reached the tip five, consistency, communication and confidence. And here's the thing, you could have the best technical skills in the world, but if you can't communicate them effectively, you're going to struggle. Communication skills are very, very essential, especially during the interviews. You need to be clear, concise, and be able to articulate your thoughts clearly. Whether you are explaining a technical problem or describing your projects, and like how you are communicating, it really matters. Confidence plays a massive role here too. If you have worked hard, prepared well, then walk into that interview confidently. You have got this, and if you stumble, don't worry. Learn from it, move forward. It's a journey, not a race. And as for consistency, 
keep putting in the work every day whether it's brushing up on your dsa learning a new framework or practicing mock interviews a small consistent efforts will pay off big time in long run and there you have it top 5 placement tips that will help you stand out in the tech job market resume update cs fundamentals focus profile company research and finally communication and confidence these are the key things that will not only help you in internship and placement but also help you build career in tech